looks good to me. <clears throat> uncomfortable position. <laughs> Rattle me, baby. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> My hair is so high for this episode that like it's almost you out look of like the a camera. Well, she tried. She's black swan today. She's always black swan. She's a little bit. She's a little bit. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> She's a little bit. Give them the collarbone. Oh yeah. Wait. Uh, uh, uh. I think that the collarbone is one of the sexiest parts on absolutely. a woman's body. Oh, Brass trap. <clears throat> I'm a slut. Um, absolutely it is. We were watching Pride and Prejudice Zombies last night because we couldn't find Pride and Prejudice. You have to pay so, for it. <laughs> we decided to watch the zombie version, which was so good. And in my opinion, better than Pride and Prejudice. Don't say What's that again. What's your face? <laughs> I'll say my opinion Not in my all presence. the time. <laughs> Lily James. Oh, she's so beautiful. So beautiful. But at in the end scene when he's like professing his love to her, her collarbones are crazy. I don't understand. They go for ages. And I'm like- They're probably so contoured. Well, and she's also so skinny that they're just like protruding they're like this. They're like, <laughs> they're like what? They're like, <laughs> I look like, I look like the rock. It's about drag. <laughs> it's about power. Okay. Wait, wait. Oh my God. My, wait. I have so much phlegm. Phlegm. Phlegm, phlegm, phlegm. Phlegm, phlegm, phlegm. Phlegm, phlegm, phlegm. Minus eight. <laughs> Minus. Okay. I always K. quote. K. Okay. I always <laughs> quote that. I'm always like, minus eight. And I don't know what it's from. I have no idea. You keep saying it's from Harry Pooter. I think it's from Harry Pooter. <laughs> but but I, I don't know. So I'm calling all smuts. We need to find out what minus eight is from. Let me do it again for everyone. Yeah. Minus eight. <laughs> <laughs> This is Mine's this is this is a serious this is a serious calling of the smuts. Okay, I can't I can't with how much taller I look. <laughs> it's because my torso like, is I'm this big. I'm looking at the proportions. You look like you're like this, and I'm like a giraffe. I'm a gremlin, and you're a a titan. <laughs> yeah, which is crazy because if you line us up side by side, our hips are exactly same. our legs are the same length. Yeah. Our, our waist is at the same place. Yeah. But <laughs> my torso is just this tiny. It's crazy. My hips are crazy low. And you would never know because I wear high-waisted things all the time. <laughs> well, so I was showing, showing them my high-waisted things. <laughs> <laughs> you can see. Ta-da. I feel like the closer that we are, the more like in focus we are. So I want us to be closer because there's just more light. Okay, then let's. But sit. like we I can sit. Yeah. Like, this is dark, and now this is lit. She's lit. Litty titty. My headphones ruined my outfit. Ugh, life is so hard. Actually, no, they look cute. Yeah, you look like a hot gamer girl. <laughs> now I have Dwayne the Rock Johnson in my head. It's about I always to, have it's him about in my power. head. No, actually, I don't think he's that attractive. No. I've said this to Dharma before, but men that are too intimidating physically mm. to me, I don't find attractive. Yeah. I understand their beauty. I see the beauty. Yeah. It's like but... a work of art that you're like, I, I can understand that this, that a lot of work was put into this, <laughs> but it's not my genre. No, she's, <laughs> she's not it. It's not on my Netflix list. <laughs> Michaela wants the like, Recovering drug addict, skinny but lean, tall, a little rough around the edges. Yeah, no, it's true. May have a mental breakdown in the near future. Yeah, but they're <laughs> a little put together. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. they look like they're put together, but on the inside they're not. And I'm like, I see myself, I see myself. Yeah. Anyway. We'll find him one day. Oh god. Calling all um low lives. 
calling all ruffians. <laughs> ruffians! <laughs> Minus eight! <laughs> Minus eight! No, I just had it in the perfect place. <laughs> Mom's mad at me now. That was so Italian of me. I was like, ma, <laughs> ma, no. No, leave it. I will do it. I do messed up. Okay, sound check. Sound check. I need this to be here. Thank you. Okay, you ready? No. Prepare. Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Not Your Mother's Book Club. My voice is really phlegmy, phlegm, phlegm, phlegm. And um, I'm here, this shirt's gonna give me pit stains and I hope everyone enjoys that. My glands are really big, I have a lot of really big sweat glands. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard enough. She told me, you're not on the air. <coughs> Do a little more. I told you it wasn't enough. I don't really have much else to say because I, I'm just not that girl. But I, I'll just, I'll keep talking. Wait, can you do this? Thank you. Hello, it's Dharma. Yeah, that's it. I couldn't think of anything to <laughs> say. Did you know that your lip color is the same color as your nipple? I didn't know that. Well, everyone knows what our nipples look like. Now. Yeah, it's this color. If you're trying to find a nude lip, just match it to your nipple. Which I'm like, if you're in MAC, you why would you whip put in your it, nip? Yeah, why? You could just put it on your lip. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why it's a hack. It's not a hack. It's just. <laughs> it's like those like really stupid, like five minute hacks where they're like gluing a leaf to a yeah. car. Oh my God, I <laughs> hate those. <laughs> Okay, we ready to begin? Yeah, I guess. Hi, Michaela. Hi, Dharma. How are you? I am here. She has completed the assignment. Yeah, like she's shown up. It's a B. I would give it a B. Yeah, she's a very average. She, the attendance, she said, here, miss. Yeah. And then that's it. She, she, stole the hall pass and went to the bathroom for 40 minutes oh my god my high school's never had hall passes no i feel like hall passes are so weird is it because people ditch is that why like I guess. what is the point in a hall pass i guess it's illegal to be in the halls during class time yeah or maybe the teachers get frisky and they don't want the students to see did you how did we get here i don't no. know i'm trying to think of reasons why teachers wouldn't want kids in the hallway I don't know. And high I school say, was really dumb and mm. I did not peak in high school. No. I was a part of the popular group, but that that's about it. They that called me Green me Giant. Ugh, pisses me off. People call me Doormat. I still call you Doormat. <laughs> Doormat Bugatti. Doormat Bugatti. <laughs> that's your name. My dad got so mad. <laughs> yeah, um, Michaela's father... Um, defended my honor yeah he found out that someone called her doormat bugatti and my dad was like that is so rude <laughs> and i was like it's kind of funny though it's a joke like it's not yeah meant to be like a bully thing it was a joke and then he but he was just he was not happy. he was it. incensed he was incensed i love that word i know it's incensed. it's so aggressive yeah and it 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 portrays exactly what it means. Incensed. Yeah. But it also sounds like incest and incense. Yeah. Combined. <laughs> incest flavored incense. <gasps> what does incest smell? Buy Not Your Mother's smell... Book Club. What does incest smell like? Yeah. Despair. <laughs> Welcome to Not Your Mother's Book Club. <clears throat> the Welcome. The smutty book podcast where we read sex scenes and talk about them. Yeah, welcome to uh, season two, episode two, and we're about to dive in. We're about to do the thing, read the book, raise the child, build a house. I don't know. Get Is a that what you're supposed K. to do in life? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, it's 2.5 children. It's a husband and a wife. 0. 0.5? Yeah, that's apparently that's the, that, that statistically is the American dream 2.5 children. How do you have 0.5 of a you, child? You don't, but math is weird. 
Numbers are weird. Don't ask questions. <laughs> I I couldn't even if I wanted to. Um, anyways. Yeah. Um, do you want to hear what book I have this oh week? I'm so excited. This book is Instagram famous. Oh. So <gasps> we're starting off really strong. Wait, wait, can I guess? Okay, you can guess. Are we doing the barbarian one? Oh my god. <laughs> This week is Ice Planet Barbarians. Yes. By Ruby Dixon. Oh. This is a really hot cover. Yeah. It's so good. She's like in the throes of passion. Yeah, with the He's blue clearly man. servicing her. Uh, I love this. Whoever designed this cover. Good job. They knew what was up. <laughs> Protect the merchandise. <laughs> we were suggested this on TikTok a lot during yeah. our last season, but we had all the books planned. We didn't have time to do this. So no we're bringing this. it back. This is the back of the book. Oh my God. Okay. It's really short. Yeah. Okay. You'd think being abducted by aliens would be the worst thing that could happen to me. Y you'd think. If you were abducted by aliens, would you be A, happy, B, scared c indifferent those are the only options well the comment below comment below <laughs> like comment subscribe <laughs> like <laughs> what? i would definitely be scared at first yeah because what is the purpose of them what like why are they abducting you is it because they want to um experiment on you is it because they want to kill you what is it for what is the reason? I would definitely be scared. I'd be I, like, where am I going? Where Where are you taking me? I where are we going, babe? Where are we going? Oh my God, is this a surprise? Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> is this a date? Yeah, I feel like I'd be very indifferent. My life on earth right now is... Who can save this? <laughs> I don't know. So I'd be like, ooh, Adventure. new experience. <laughs> Show me everything about your life. And then I would rule them. Oh, their you leader. would take control of them. Of course. I see this for you. You'd think being abducted by aliens would be the worst thing that could happen to me. And you'd be wrong. Because now the aliens are having ship trouble. And they've left their cargo of human women, including me, on an ice planet. <gasps> Wait, so they've abducted a bunch of women and just kept them in a cargo ship? And then they said, no, we don't want it. And the only native inhabitant I've met, he's big, horned, blue, and really, really has a thing for me. <laughs> Why is this like someone's diary entry? Dear diary. Dear diary. I woke up on a planet. There was a blue man. We're in love. <laughs> <laughs> she writes like a little heart with an arrow. Yeah, it's like blue man and Chantel in a heart. <laughs> Chantel! <laughs> I don't know. I don't know her name. I for Oh, no. I remember her name. Yeah, so... That's it? That's the back of the book. That's the shortest back of the book ever. Yeah, it's concise. You know what the story <laughs> is? Yeah, it reads It reads like a diary. Yeah, it doesn't give away anything, which is no. actually refreshing. Yeah, it's very intriguing because you're like, yeah. why is there a cargo ship of women yeah. on an ice planet? Wow. But then sex so sexy times okay so this is the 411 okay her name no. is georgie oh my god did we no never mind what nothing brain thoughts intrusive um indifferent indifferent <laughs> scared <laughs> when we record these podcasts that's the state of being that we're in yeah scared scared indifferent, indifferent. Welcome. Are you there, God? No, he's not there. It's aliens. Um, okay, so this chick is called Georgie. Yes. And her story is that she gets abducted by aliens. And oh, next I thing wish. she knows, she's in a holding cell with like 20 other girls. And they're like, clearly we're being trafficked. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's awful. There's definitely like sexual assault in the first mm -hmm. couple chapters. She calls them basketball head aliens because their heads look like basketballs. Are they orange? Yeah. You know what? Our last alien book. He looked human. He looked human. So I'm really excited for this alien book. Yeah. Because he he's actually an alien. Yes. 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 
and then they start having ship trouble so the people on the on the on the ship like eject the girls <gasps> unnecessary weight unnecessary weight and they're like we'll come right. back for them the girls are all chipped so they know mm -hmm. where they are mm -hmm. so they eject the girls and there's a, still a couple soldiers on the the cargo hold mm -hmm. so the girls um led by Georgie she's been elected as the leader sure get out of the cage and kill the the soldiers oh yes ladies yeah How did she, they like, kill them she steals his um gun mm -hmm. and and pummels him to death yes with the butt of the gun yes yeah okay I want to read this book so they land and but they're stuck on this ice planet mm. and it's just it's like stuck. it's winter Mm -hmm. So they're like, Georgie, go fuck that blue Go <laughs> find, go find us food. Get us. out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> and yeah. then, so Georgie's like, yes, okay. So she's out in the snow mm -hmm. and it's a whole new world. A whole new world. Um, and then his name is Vectal. <gasps> okay. Okay, I gotta say something. She has something to say. I have something to say. Names that start with a V. Sexiest names. My favorite name is Robert, but <laughs> but names that start with V, especially women. Veronica, Vanessa, Velma, Violet, Victoria, Vienna, Victoria, Twilight. Oh my god. <laughs> They're very like powerful. Yeah. Good, mm. good names. Men. Victor, what's his name? Vectal. Vectal. Kind of sounds like rectal exam. It That's like, what comes to mind. Yeah, it sounds like vector, Ooh. which is like that, phys <gasps> that physics term. Oh, I really thought cereal. <laughs> vector. Oh. Anyways, anyway, we got what so we off topic. About? Vectal. Vectal. Anyways, he finds her. Mm hmm. She like lands in one of his hunting snares. Oh, we love a meet you. <laughs> And this he, is the me cute that I want. This is the me cute she wants and needs. Um, and he cuts her down and he's like, what is this strange animal? <laughs> That's what I want my man to say to me. When he first meets me. <laughs> what is this strange animal? <laughs> and I'm just like. No. A little biology oh. for this alien guy. This is a very sciencey episode. It is. I have to explain his bio biological makeup. Okay. So his race um, were somehow like a long time ago landed on this planet and they adapted. Uh, they were able to breathe the air by ingesting this worm that let them breathe the air. Because the oxygen level is toxic to toxic. regular people. So okay. in order to survive, they have to eat this worm that lodges itself in, in the heart. And it is like a weird like soulmate situation where like when you meet your soulmate, this worm will resonate and like purr. Oh. Yeah, it's very weird. So like the, his race of people on this planet now, they have a tradition where like you can only like build a life with your soulmate and you know it's your soulmate from the from the purring it's like imprinting in twilight exactly like everything this. comes back to twilight everything circles back so he cuts her down from the thing and he starts resonating mm. he starts purring and he's like what is this strange animal <laughs> he's like right away he's like i must mate with her i love this <laughs> And I'm really about out. this. It's just the right amount of fucked up. Yeah. But sexy. This hasn't happened to you before? Sadly, no. Oh my god, that's so but that's I've so been putting it out into the universe. Yeah. Like, please, someone get me stuck in a snare and cut me down and eat me. Mate with me for life. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that's what happens. He cuts her down. He takes her to a cave. Oh romance she's passed out because she hit her head or something i don't know okay not romance and then she wakes up 
and he's eating her out. Oh, that doesn't sound consensual. <laughs> no, but he has, um, he, his tongue has <gasps> little knobs on it. Okay. Yeah, like okay. little, bu and his tongue has bumps on it. Okay. And his skin is like velvet. She, she describes it as soft as suede. And his penis has like a knuckle knob on the top. Oh my God. And it's ridged, it's ridged on the bottom. Ridged for her pleasure. Who the fuck are these sex gods that these women have just been? And he has horns on his head that you can hold on to. Who wrote this book? Ruby Dixon. Ruby Dixon, you are my god. Yeah. You are my new god. Yeah. I, I didn't have a god before. <laughs> you didn't have a god before. She has made you are herself the god. known to us. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. Oh my god. So this is his biological makeup. She wakes up. He's eating her out. And she's like, hello. Um, <laughs> they don't understand each other because they speak different languages. Oh. So, but she she they come to understand that he's like he doesn't mean her harm and she like is like don't touch me and he's like okay and then she's like there's more of us we i need your help and he's like okay a couple days go by he's like hunting for her so this is the night before they're deciding to go back up the mountain to the little pod mm -hmm. and so they're around a fire in a hunting cave and they're playing the like language game where they're like what is this and they say it in their language and then they kind of like say it back to each other. What is this? Reyes. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the scene before and that's where we're at. Oh my God. This, this is outrageous and I am here for it and I want to read this book. It's stupid, but it's fun. Yeah, I love, I love something that is stupid yet fun. Yeah. It's very much a Tarzan moment. Ah, uh, This book is very much a Tarzan moment. Tarzan was my sexual awakening. And that movie is everything. And Phil Collins is my dad. Uh, like everything is good. Tarzan, everything is good. But I cry, so I can't watch it. Oh my God. His hands are so big. So is, so is Vectel's. Ah. Uh, I don't know. Hands are just so hot and I can't, I can't, I can't deal with it. Um, so we're finishing this video. This is <laughs> the, the podcast end. will continue, but if you would like to listen to the rest, you can find us anywhere you get your podcast, Spotify, Google Playlist, Apple, Podbean. Oh, where, where do you get your podcast? Follow us on Instagram at Not Mother's Book Club. If you want to send us your own home written erotica, which we read on Let's Have a Quickie, you can send it to our email, notmothersbookclub at gmail.com. Um, we also have a Patreon. You can look us up and get one additional episode, plus let's have a quickie. So you get so much more content for only $9 a month. Also, there's a Patreon app, apparently. Mm, yes. Yeah, so, so heard. you can download the app and then just get notifications when we update things um and you also get voting privileges with patreon so you can vote on the app and it's so easy and so much fun democracy democracy we'll leave you on this note i asked dharma this question a few days ago would you rather be pissed on or shit on in bed think about it just a question <laughs> something to ponder you know that's a rhetorical question is it no it's gonna happen whichever one you pick we're gonna come to your house and make it a reality and that's a threat. Just kidding. <laughs> that's blackmail. <laughs> oh my god, we love blackmail. We love blackmail. So that's it. Think about it and it. Uh, tell us. Yeah, Message comment us. below. Let us know. We want to know. It's for research. <laughs> okay, we're bad at goodbyes, but we're gonna Irish it, and um, we're just gonna do this. <laughs>